Hey guys, it's Casey. Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great spring. Um, I hope the lighting's okay and I'm still working on my background. I'm actually going to try to make that a project here uh, a little bit later on today. So I have a haul for you all. Um, a little bit from Sephora, just a little bit. Uh, it Cosmetics and Colourpop. So I'm super excited. I've been loving this stuff, what I've tried anyway. <laughs> Isn't that awful? Um, having tried everything. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started because I do have some mini reviews for you on the things that I have tried. So let me start out with Sephora. I only got a few things and the reason I even bought anything, this is like going to be a shameful video. What's wrong with me? Um, is because I had a birthday in March and so I really wanted the birthday gift because I was like super excited about it. Uh, well, you could choose between like NARS lip colors and then the Peter Thomas Roth um, skincare set. So I definitely chose this. And this comes with the um, anti-aging cleansing gel, which I had used before and I love it. And then it came with a cucumber gel mask, which I really, really wanted to try. And um, so anyway, I'm really excited to try that maybe tonight because I've had like a super tiring weekend. I'm actually hoping that I can take a nap after <laughs> I film this video. Okay, so I got that, and then um, I also got a little set from Buxom that I just saw, and I was like, you know, that looks really pretty. And I'm fairly new to Buxom. I haven't tried very much at all. Really just their um, lip creams, I think, is like one of the only things I've tried. So I saw a set that came with a blush and a lip pencil, and I thought they looked really pretty, and I love them, especially the blush. So let me show you it first. It is called Louvitate. And it's just like a really pretty nude color. I think this is going to be so perfect for summer. And I think this would look really good with a nude lip, of course. Or this would be one of those really good blushes if you want to wear like a reddish lip. Really excited. Um, so yeah, here's a swatch for you. It's not like super intense. But I think it's so pretty. You can see it right there. And it has a little bit of a sheen to it. So that is just, oh, I've really, really been enjoying that. And then the lip pencil is called Mugshot. And it has a little um, sharpener on the end here. And it's like one of those jumbo lip crayons. And it is basically just a nude color right there. And I have worn this once and I really, really liked it. It has like that kind of minty kind of scent. And so I'm really liking that. One thing from Sephora that I was just like super duper excited about and I never thought I would ever be interested in this is one of the Becca Beach Tint Shimmer Souffles. I remember when these first came out, I saw them in some videos and I just wasn't interested. Um, they looked really, really sheer. And you know, for the price, I'm just like, no thanks. I'm just going to pass on that. And then I don't really know what made me go look at them on Sephora uh, recently. And I even like Googled swatches um, of these to try to figure out what shade I might like. And even the swatches on Google, like people's blogs, they just did not look impressive. But there was one I saw. Um, I mean, obviously I saw something because I bought it. <laughs> this one is in Watermelon Moonstone. And I saw swatches of this and I just thought it looked gorgeous and oh my goodness. Ah, I'm in love with this. Here it is up close and it is just absolutely gorgeous. I have it on my cheeks today. I don't know if you can really tell because I didn't go like too, too overboard. You know how you have to really pile on the blush for it to be seen on film? Do that because I actually do have to go like out in public today. <laughs> so I don't know if you can tell, but I just absolutely love this. It is the most gorgeous just like light pinky champagne color. Oh, it is so beautiful. And I've been wearing this alone and under this blush. Now that I have you up close, let me show you the blush again. And they just make a really gorgeous combo. Oh my goodness. But you guys, I totally was not expecting this. Legit smells like watermelon. Hello. I need to share my samples with you that I got from Sephora this time because I, this has been one of like the best um, sample packets I've gotten. Okay. 
I got a sample of the Benefit Professional because I know I love this and um, there wasn't really anything else other than the things I picked out that I wanted, so I just got another sample of that. Okay, I got a sample of the Cover FX Contour Kit. And I'm thinking this must be the medium set. I can't remember and I can't really find, yeah, it is me neutral medium. They have like neutral, cool, warm, and then light medium, deep, medium deep, light, blah, blah, blah. Okay, anyway, that was, whoo. Um, I have not tried this yet because at the time I was not self tanned and this would be like too dark for my natural color. But I have been self tanning, so I'm gonna try this really soon. I am so excited. More excited than anyone probably should be. Okay, and then I got a sample of the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation. And I got this in light 48, which was actually pretty dark. I'm wearing it today and I've been really anxious to see what it looks like on film because it is so intense. You guys have probably already tried this, but I never have. And um, it is not for you gals who like a natural finish foundation or like, you know, light coverage. It's pretty intense. I love full coverage and this is even like, I don't know that I would purchase this because I don't think I would wear this on a daily basis. It's super full coverage, super matte, really thick texture. Um, I was really surprised by it, but um, I don't know why with a name like Locket Tattoo Foundation, but I do think it looks really good on film so far anyway, from what I can tell in the viewfinder. So for like special occasion makeup, I think that this will be fabulous and I do really like it. I do have to say also, um, this is gonna be such a long video, but I wore this the other day to work and this is that was the first time I'd ever try it. Tried it, I got two uses out of this little tiny sample because it has so much coverage. And I was like, by lunchtime, this is gonna be settled into every line on my face. And I have to say it wore really well with no primer. I was really, really impressed by that. So, okay, and then I got, where is that one? Hold up. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's right here. I also got a sample of the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. And I got this shade in nude. I've not tried this yet. I have no clue what color this is gonna be. Like nude could be light or it could be like medium. So I think I may try it tomorrow since I do have a little bit of tan on, believe it or not. Oh my gosh, that's sad. Really excited about that. Um, let's see, and then I got a sample of the Loctane Precious Cream and I have not tried this either. And then I used um, some points. I think this was like a 100 point perk or something like that. And I got the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream and I got this in light medium. And again, this is probably something that I could use here in the next few days when I um, self tan a little bit more, but I knew light medium just would not match my um, usual paleness. So that is what I got from Sephora. I have been really happy with that. Speaking of Sephora, um, there is the VIB sale coming up and I do plan on making a few purchases, nothing crazy, you're not a whole lot, but if you guys want me to do a haul video on that too, just let me know. I just don't want to like overload you with hauls and that sort of thing. So just let me know if that's something you'd want to see. Okay, let's move on to It Cosmetics because I only got a few things from them. I got two travel size CC creams. And the reason I got travel sizes is just because I have like so much foundation. Um, my skin color constantly changes. And so I didn't want to like, you know, buy a bunch of stuff. So anyway, I got one in fair and one in medium. And I do have a full size in light that Kristen had sent me. Um, but even light is like, I feel like it's more of like a medium shade. Like it was just so dark on my natural skin color. So I did get fair for um, when I'm lazy and I don't self tan that way I can still wear this. Okay, I have to say this because I've never ever heard anyone else mention this when they talk about the It Cosmetics CC creams. On me, I feel like they never set. And I hadn't really worn 
um, the one I have a whole lot until I had already ordered these two just because you know it had been too dark for me I feel like even with powder like it, it just doesn't set on me so I don't know this may have to be more of like a winter time thing um, because I wore it the other day and I just feel like I could not touch my face because it was just gonna like rub right off so I don't know um, I do really love how they look though like they didn't look greasy or anything like that it just didn't feel very comfortable on my skin um, and then I got the Bye Bye Pores and oh my goodness I think this might already become become <laughs> become like holy grail status this is just absolutely amazing like it really gives you a totally flawless look Okay, and last but not least, I did make another ColourPop purchase because I've just been really been loving ColourPop lately, their eyeshadows, and I really wanted to try some of their blushes. So let me show, show you the shadows I got first. I meant to order this when I placed my first ColourPop order and I totally thought I had ordered it. And then I get my mail and I was like, it's not in there. So I go check my receipt, didn't order it. <laughs> So I made sure to get it this time and I got the Super Shock Shadow in Sequin and this is a metallic finish. I have found that that is my favorite finish for these shadows and this is just a really pretty like copper penny rose goldish kind of color and I do have it on my lid today and it's just like the other metallic shadows just so soft, so pigmented, so like shiny. I just love these. And then I also got Lala and this is ultra metallic and I have worn this several times and it's kind of similar but it's more on like the golden bronzy side whereas sequin is a little bit more copper. Uh, now that I'm swatching them they're actually really similar. So this is sequin it's all over my lid and I will show you what it looks like in the pan and a swatch. So that sequin there, you can just see how crazy shiny it is. And it's this one right here. You can see they're very similar. Whoops. Uh, and this one is Lala. And it's up here. So I'll show you side by side. This is Lala and this is sequin. So, I mean, I mean, they're a little bit different. Okay. I'll just keep you up close for these swatches. So, I also got a matte shadow. This is the second matte shadow I've gotten from them. And this is called Flux. And this is kind of unexpected for me, right? I'm trying to, like, get out of my comfort zone a little bit. But this is just a really pretty, bright, like, seafoam green color. And I'll tell you the reason I got this. Oh, my goodness. This is just so creamy. It's crazy. I got this because of one of their um, Instagram posts. It showed this girl wearing like a super neutral look, like a really light eyeshadow kind of look. Um, it's right here. You can see how light it is. Like it almost looks white on camera. She had this color all around the inner corner and it was so pretty and I was like, I think I might be able to do that. Okay, and then I got a couple of blushes. You all, if you've been with me for the last year or so, you know how I feel about like peachy coral colors. So I got the blush in Holiday and this is matte. And it's just a really pretty, super bright coral. Kind of like a pinky coral. It does definitely have some pink to it. Really pretty. That's going to be so pretty for summer. And then I was most excited about this one. This is called Between the Sheets. And it's just a super pretty, like totally neutral color. Just like I said about that nude um, Buxom blush, I think this will be perfect for like a reddish lip. And I'll tell you what lipstick I had in mind for this. Look how gorgeous. Um, MAC Sea Sheer. I feel like that's like an unsung hero like I just don't hear many people talk about it and I don't wear it nearly enough like that is a beautiful lipstick and so that's my goal for the summer is to really give that lipstick some love um, last thing I got was a lippy uh, stick and this shade is called button and it is a satin finish and it's again just a really pretty like peachy neutral um, color and I do have it on um, underneath 
Lumiere, which is also from ColourPop. Uh, this was a little bit bright, I felt like, so I used Lumiere to kind of tone it down a little bit. And um, also, it, it's a satin finish, but it really came off matte on me. And Lumiere is matte too, so I've got a matte lip going on. I'm telling y'all, I'm like busting out of my comfort zone. Matte lips, mint eyeshadow, like, <sighs> I just hit 32 and I think I'm like, I don't know, just kind of busting out of my comfort zone. I don't know where I was going with that. Okay, this just got really awkward. All right guys, so that is my haul. Um, I felt like such a weirdo talking to you all today. Like what is wrong with me? <laughs> Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Look in the info bar. I will list all the products that I've used on my face today. And um, yeah, I just hope you guys are doing great. Thank you so much for watching. Please come back for the next video. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> I need to go lay down. Bye.